Today we're going to be working on an African ingredient that I really love to work with. It is called stockfish and it looks something like this, almost like wood. And what is stockfish? Stockfish is really just codfish and it is usually um, imported into a lot of uh, West African countries, Nigeria in particular. And this codfish is usually air dried, it is caught and air dried and usually broken up into pieces and cut. Has an incredible flavor to it and it's not only used in African countries but there are a lot of Italian dishes that employ uh, the use of codfish, of this stockfish as we call it. Now stockfish when you get it as I said it looks like wood, it's very brittle, it has a pretty strong smell to it and although it has a very strong smell, the smell translates to taste. In some parts of Nigeria, this is called okboroko. And okboroko literally means the sound of the pot. And let me get a pot here so you can hear the sound of what the stockfish sounds like when it enters the pot. Can you imagine? It starts out this hard, and we're gonna slow cook this down till it's nice and soft, and we use it to make delicious soups and stews. Now, to work with your okoroko or your stockfish, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to place that in a big pot and you're going to fill that with water. And I have some water here. And you're going to cook this for at least an hour. I know it's a long period of time, but you really need this to be nice and soft to be able to use this properly. So cook this under low heat for an hour. The sun has gone down. My stockfish has been cooking for about an hour now. Let me take a look at it. It looks very good and soft. It is time for us to clean it. How do we go about doing that? Well, obviously we're working with some very, very hot fish here. So you don't want to stick your hand in here, please. Using a pair of tongs, I'm just taking them out and it is breaking apart as I take it out. Look at that. And the reason I'm taking them out is I'm going to now wash the skins off of them. Now we're going to be using some cold water to wash it. Now I have some water in here and I'm just going to pour that in here. Now if you look in here, the skin basically just peels off. Now I'm going to break this in half. I have some bone in there. Now the bone is actually edible. It's not like tough like the regular bone you see in the fish. In, in this type of dried fish, you can actually use the bone. And I'm break, basically breaking the, the fish up into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I use stockfish a lot in my cooking, but because of the smell and my husband doesn't really like the smell of stockfish indoors, I tend to cook this once a month. I'll cook it in huge batches, break it up, and store it in my fridge. That way, I can please my hubby and my tummy. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen clean cooked stockfish. Well, that's what we have cooking on the back burner. Till next time.